This is the best thing I've seen for, you know, math science and, and even beyond. Wolf Mouth is really generating a lot of excitement. I'm a professor at Chicago State University. I teach uh, abstract algebra, differential equations. I'm also the uh, advisor for the Math CS Club. We've been using uh, Wolfram Alpha essentially the day it launched. Uh, I, I was aware of it and uh, immediately told the um, Math CS Club about it. And it you know, recently I've been bringing it into the classroom, uh, specifically uh, so my course in linear algebra. You can always put a parabola right through uh, any three points. First, I've actually introduced concepts like. Uh, row echelon form and uh, null space by actually uh, having the students do some computations in Wolfram Alpha so they can get a feel for what this is uh, rather than just a kind of a rote procedure. And the other way I've used it is for applications and, and I've just found this to be really fascinating. I've been able to uh, have my students download uh, data and uh, perform uh, regressions and uh, actually do various types of uh, data fitting uh, all inside Wolfram Alpha and I was really pleasantly surprised that this was even possible. I I'm about to show you something I mean truly I think amazing. I typed in main sequence stars and I typed in mass. I did the exact same thing luminosity. It turns out there's a connection between these two things and, and now it's the final application I actually put this data set and I did what to it? Did a linear fit. Now you know, right, that it's scientific data, right? So it's not perfect. So you're not going to be able to interpolate. You're not going to meaningfully find a curve, right? Mm -hmm. But you can do a regression and there it is. Mm -hmm. so, so can someone tell me what they think the relationship is between luminosity and stellar mass? The applications part of math courses have historically been, in my opinion, both as a student and a teacher, extremely artificial. There's nothing artificial about this. This is real data and uh, you're getting it possibly in real time. And the fact that the data is, 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 is real and guaranteed, I think makes a lot of difference. Look at the kind of problems that now become accessible, uh, whereas before they were inaccessible. There's a part here that I want you guys to do in Wolfram Alpha for homework. What I'm finding uh, with Wolfram Alpha is I can actually give homework problems that actually say, okay, so do this in Wolfram Alpha and see if you see a pattern. I mean, that's the kind of thing that has been added to my homework. It, it has made uh, calculations that were tedious uh, really quite painless uh, to check. and. Uh, I see a lot of excitement around sort of the both availability and the uh, very uh, low learning curve involved and, and really see how this could be brought into kind of almost any classroom. Wolfram Alpha seems to me to be the greatest thing for education. The promise of actually trying to carry out this, uh, this really ambitious plan of, of making data instantly accessible and computable is it's pretty breathless in its in its scope and uh, I mean I'm just stunned at uh, really how much they have already I mean it's 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 amazing